What's going on my friends, Bijan here just checking in with another trade recap here. Gonna try and keep it quick as usual. Uh, I was trading GS today. Now just before I, you know, forget about mentioning it, mentioning it at the end, this trade was directly straight from the watch list, like 100%, like to the T. Um, yeah, I just wanted to put that idea out there. Okay, that's that. So we were trading, uh, trading GS and I had a $4,075 profit here. We'll just say $4,000 for the sake of simplicity. Now... It was a pretty quick day trade, about an hour, hour and a half long. Uh, the cost of the trade in total, uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'll, I'll still go over it because believe it or not, when I mention the cost of the trade, I have people complaining like, yo, we don't need to know that. And then I don't mention it. Then people are like, yo, what was the cost of the trade? So I, it's, you know, you can't keep everyone happy, but I'll do that at the end actually. So uh, we were trading. GS, $4,000 $4, profit, it had a total of 40 contracts, and I started in with 25. Let me put it on a smaller time frame here for you guys. So I started in with 25, and I was basically watching the 200 area. And that's what, what the watch list had as well, was basically enter right around the 200 area. Uh, and the profit target was 203, which is basically right where I got out, maybe like a few cents short. Um, let me go into the times for you guys here. So we have the first 25 contracts that I got in was at 741 for 295 each. Then at 808, so about what, 20, 25 minutes later, maybe 30 minutes later, I added in an additional 15 once I got confirmation that, okay, this trade idea is working, everything is looking good. So let's jump in now. So right here is where I got the 25. Then I added in the 15 to put me to a total of 40 contracts. And the 15 I added in at 330, the price of 330. So it puts it at the average cost of, uh, let me see. I had it saved right here. Here we go. 308 was the average cost. So I had 40 contracts at 308 each. And I sold it right basically as soon as it pinged the 203 area. I had an alert right here and it pinged the alert. But by the time I pulled everything out and got going, uh, we were a little short of it. And I was looking at it and I'm thinking, all right, you know what? Let's close it out. Obviously, one, we're pretty much right at the 203 area. Second of all, today was a Fed day and I didn't want to hold this trade through the meeting. The meeting hits at right, I mean, you can probably tell, it's like an earthquake on the Richter scale, you know, everything's going good, then just bang, all of a sudden, boom, 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 biggity bomb, you know, all over the place. So I didn't want to hold it through that meeting. So that was my point. And as I, I said, okay, we're, we're just literally one hour from that meeting. Let me just get rid of it here, the whole entire trade. Um, and th that's pretty much that. Obviously, it did go a little higher. I could have made a little more, but that's not the whole point here. Uh, so that was really just the the general idea of the trade like i said you know from the 200 area right to the 203 area uh and that was pretty much that so we had the four thousand dollar profit in total like i said i started in 25 contracts at 295 then i added in an additional 15 contracts once i had that confirmation at 330 each and then i sold right exactly right at like 10 o'clock 10 a.m so it was i'm sorry not an hour and a half it was like two and a half hours long um uh, yeah, sorry, I'm not good on my calculations, guys. Don't blame me. Anyways, so right at 10 a.m. basically is when I sold uh, all of them, all 40 of them uh, for 410 each. So you could look at this in two different ways. Now this is for the people to show you guys the profit calculation. Uh, like I said, the average price was 308, and we sold it for 410. So the difference basically subtract the cost of the trade 308 from what you sold it for 410, which gives you 102. We had 40 contracts, so 102 was the profit per contract. We had 40 contracts, so you do 102 times the 40, and that basically gives you $4,000 profit right there. You guys can do the math. Or the other way you can look at it, this is the long way, but it actually like breaks everything down for you guys. I got in it 25 contracts at 295 That's $7,375 right there. Then when I added in... I added in 15 contracts at 330 each, which is 4,950. You add them together, that gives you 12,325. That was the total cost of the trade there. And then I sold the trade 
all 40 of them at 410, so 410 times 40, that's 16,400. So you're going to subtract the cost of the trade from that 16,400, so subtract 12,325, and that's where you basically have the $4,075 profit there. So that's pretty much that, guys. Hopefully that satisfies everybody. We talked about the charts, the marts, the marts, the bar. Wait, you guys get what I'm saying? The whole watch list scenario. And that's pretty much that, guys. I don't want to start rambling, so we're going to cut it here. Uh, feel free to check the links in the description below if you do want to join our watch list or you know whatever you want to do. You want to follow me on social media. You guys can check out Who's Bijan T on all the platforms, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. That's pretty much that. Just a quick trade recap for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all soon.